lot of people are arguing that an other blog is not more working it had stopped working since 2000 since 2006 blah 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 so here is the fact uh the thing is actually a lot of smart money or i say a lot of people that are just new to smart money or to ict got the wrong information about what an other vlog is really is some people were taught that an other block is just as is just the same thing with supply and demand which is literally not uh an other block by definition by its originator that's credit goes to michael j houston is the change of delivery of fries okay so uh i know uh, looking at this looking at this looking at this everyone will say this is a bullish other block some people will say this is a supply area once price come back here you sell yeah this is not a uh, supply and this is an other block people will say why did i take these three consecutive candlestick these three let me zoom in let me zoom in why did i take since i'm defining an other block why did i take these three candlesticks and mark them out yeah in ict just as 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 I, as I told you earlier an order block was pace uh identified by michael j houston so he is the originator he gave it the time order block so as he taught it three candlestick make of an order block so these three of candles bullish candlesticks they are one order block because if you go back to three hour three hour chart this is one hour chart if you go back to three hour chart these three consecutive up candles they are going to be just one bullish candle so this is an order block so are you supposed to mark it out from the beginning up to the top yes you are supposed to do that but what that is not how you trade it how do you trade it you take the mean stress hold of the order block what is the mean stress hold the 50 percent of the other block let's assume this is the 50 percent of the other block so once price tap in that that is the most valid way to take that uh other block and capitalize it by selling or by buying when necessary even though in ict we did not just buy any other block we did not just sell any other block i will make a video on the tradable and the non-tradable other block but for this sake i'm here to define an other block which many people got it wrong and cannot really uh identify or trade an order block i hope you understand this video let me give you more examples before i round off let me give you more examples before i round off yeah let's take a look at this place let's take a look at this place okay i know there are some uh I, will i say wake up student or some uninformed smart money traders that will take this bearish candlestick as an order block let me show you what i mean this bearish be, this bearish candlestick they call it supply they call it supply these are the same people that say an order block is same thing with uh a supply and demand which is not so they call this as an order block this bearish candlestick they did not they will not recognize they will not recognize or consider this bullish candlestick they will consider this this bearish candlestick as the order block this is wrong this is typically wrong this is typically wrong an order block is this bullish candlestick is this bullish candlestick the last of candle the last of candle why did i why why don't i take these two candles these three candles including this uh indecision candle this doji because as you can see this is not just a doji it is a bearish candlestick so that is why i'm not taking the two so in this case this is our order block this bullish because the market is up is going up the last up candle that is the bullish candlestick is the order block so if you mark it out then you identify the 50 mean threshold of the order block this is it okay don't forget this is one hour time frame you can go lower time frame and refine that order block to make it uh to 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 reduce your sl and so on so this is uh how ict 
define and how we teach an order block here is another order block we have an order block here right here just right here so i'll be taking the bullish bearish candlestick because this is a bullish order block so i take the bearish candlestick and you see when price tap into the area it sell off it sell off as i told you if you are looking uh if you are looking for uh this thing for uh uh for for a good order block is the one that retains at the 50 percent means threshold of the order block so i hope you find this video valuable see you next time on the next video thank you